Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking my first look at gaming on Intel's new KB Lake processor. Uh, so this is HD Intel HD 620 graphics, uh, running on a Core i3-7100U, so the 7th generation of the Core microarchitecture. And in something of a departure from some of the previous um, Intel products, they've actually done a second iteration of the same microarchitecture on the 14 nanometer process. Um, anyway, we're now looking at GTA 4 and we uh, GTA 5, sorry, and we could see early on there there was some of the water missing. Uh, that's pretty common on a lot of the Intel chips in this game. Um, it seems to happen in that particular scene in the benchmark. Overall um, performance in this benchmark, we average, I think it's about 37, 38 frames per second. Um, and in this game, I tested it with the latest drivers on HD 520 as well, and it came out about the same. Um, there was one or two frames per second difference between runs, but generally they were both in the same ballpark. Um, I've cut out the earlier scenes in this because they don't really show you too much and this is a bit more visually interesting. Um, but we can see it's generally actually above 30 frames per second. On some bits of towards this car section it does drop down below 30 in places. But I have also included some gameplay footage as well as just the benchmark mode. Um, which I'll show in a moment once the benchmark is completed and in that it does generally stay up above 30 frames per second so while the game isn't its most visually appealing on a chip like this it should be possible to play it reasonably well. Like I say if you keep watching we've included more gameplay footage of the title after this benchmark run so do check that out and if you like what we do then be sure to subscribe for more KB Lake gaming videos coming soon and um, let us know what else you'd like to see us testing in the comments below.